a Philadelphia radio station banned Taylor Swift's music ahead of Travis Kelce's Eagles vs. Chiefs game. This weekend, Philadelphia Swifties will need to pick their radio stations wisely. Taylor Swift's relationship with Kansas City Chiefs tight and Travis Kelce is the reason local radio station Q102 has decided to ban her music ahead of Monday's Super Bowl 57 rematch between the Eagles and Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium. In an interview with CBS News Philadelphia, Q102 host Nugget stated, Q102 is punting Taylor Swift from the radio station for the entire weekend because while Q102 loves Taylor Swift, we can't get enough of her, this weekend it's really important we show our support for the birds. According to reports, Swift's music will be back on the radio on Tuesday after the game's result is made public. Before Sunday's game, Swift, 33, is being mocked by Nugget and other Philadelphia natives for her connections to Travis, 34, and the Chiefs. Patty LaBelle said as much during an interview on Friday's episode of the Tamron Hall Show. You know what? Allow me to clarify. Back up, boo-boo, Taylor and all your Swifties, exclaimed the 79-year-old Lady Marmalade singer. The Chiefs are in decline. The Eagles will prevail. It's finalized. Thus, Taylor, please stay at home, I love you. Conversely, during her era's tour stop in Buenos Aires last week, Swift changed a lyric in Karma as a way of expressing her gratitude for Travis' team. The crowd erupted in cheers as she sang, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs, coming straight home to me, and the NFL player himself responded endearingly. On their new heights with Jason and Travis Kell's podcast earlier this week, Travis and his Eagles playing brother Jason discussed the incident. After Swift took a weekend trip to Argentina during his bye week, the siblings disclosed that Travis had earlier noticed that Swift might do something special to acknowledge his presence in the audience. Yes, indeed, I was unaware of that, he started, but then changed his tone and acknowledged, well, Oh, I may have had some idea, but when I heard it come from her mouth, still shocked me. Jason, 35, made reference to the extensively shared fan video that showed the NFL player's response to Swift's shout-out when he said, you could tell in the video that Travis was taken aback. I thought, oh, she actually said that, Travis recalled.